Yesterday someone messaged me on Facebook and I'm not one of these people that says I get asked all the time because this is the first time I've been asked this in a while but I do notice people falling for these same traps and that is why am I not losing weight and feeling the increases in energy the optimization that I deserve from the effort I'm putting in I'm Ollie Matthews creator of the revitalization blueprint optimization and accountability coach for some of the world's leading entrepreneurs and if you resonate with the things I'm about to tell you in this video, then go over to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash seven days and download your free optimization kickstart now. Pop your email in there, you get a video sent through every day and you can easily action the points in there in order to get some results without even spending hours in the gym. Why aren't you getting the results you deserve? Why aren't you getting the results that you've put the effort in for? Here are three reasons that I see happening over and over again, especially in this entrepreneurial world where we're getting marketed to every single day. We have people telling us that claim to be experts in certain areas that are actually just trying to sell supplements. We have friends and people who are influencers in different niches that tell us what diet to do. And people pay too much attention to what other people are doing. Here's what I mean by this. You see someone doing a ketogenic diet, having bulletproof coffee every single morning, and they say that they've dropped a certain amount of weight. So you start doing it. It doesn't work as well. You see someone doing intermittent fasting and they've dropped a certain amount of weight. You start doing it. It doesn't work as well. You see someone going on a seven day detox, a three day fast, a 21 day fast, and they tell you how great they feel. You start doing it, you feel crap. Doesn't work as well. Everyone is an individual, and there is no one size fits all when it comes to your health optimization. And there's neither a one size fits all that actually comes to your accountability either. Everyone is motivated by different things and in different ways. So when you follow Joe Smith's diet over here, or Jack's diet over here, then it isn't tailored for you. Everyone has a different schedule. Everyone has different tastes, different needs, different health starting points, different goals, different body types, different body shapes, different muscle mass, different genes, different genes. This is why everything needs to be tailored for you and people get overwhelmed and they're like, I'm just going to try a keto diet. Which could be the right thing for you, depending on your activity levels, depending on the intensity of your activities and your daily lifestyle. But everything has to match what is going on in your life as an individual. People follow so much attention from other people that aren't experts in this industry rather than just speaking up and asking someone who is the go-to expert when it comes to optimization and accountability. Just dropping me a message, for example. Number two, you're not actually in a calorie deficit. You're trying to drop fat, but you're not in a calorie deficit. You have loads of travel commitments. You have loads of seminars to go through, talking events to give a keynote, social events, birthdays, family events, just dinners that are going to be meetings and marketing events. And you're not prepared for these. There are different strategies you can use in order to make sure you don't have a negative impact on these. You could fast for most of the day and then when you go to your evening meeting you can have a decent portion of steak and get some fries on the side or even have some pizza. Providing you've put in the work and the preparation elsewhere, which I do for my clients anyway. It might be that for your specific goals you may have to just wait until after a certain event to focus for 8, 10, 12, 14 weeks. You can use, lose 10, 15, 20 pounds in that time with great focus, with commitment. Because trying to do it when you're not actually able to be committed to the levels you say, it's just going to frustrate you, just going to increase your stress levels. And you may even find yourself quitting, which leads to having to start over and over and over again, which people don't like doing. It is painful. And the third thing here, number three, is that your body isn't actually optimized to be optimized. 
So when we say about building our foundations, too many people look to build the skyscraper when it comes to just dropping fat, building muscle, optimizing their energy, their productivity, lowering their waistline. But we need to look at the foundations first. What is going on stress levels? What is going on in your mind, in your business, in your family, your relationships? This is why I created my five M's. Madness, money, movement, marriage, and mindset. If we focus on building the foundations in each of these points, I guarantee that you will drop fat. If you are highly stressed out, what is going to be the point of going in a massive caloric deficit, taking away the nutrients your body actually needs in order to begin to thrive? What is going to be the point of taking away that relaxation time that you could have, that extra sleep which you could have to hustle and go to the gym and train hard? It might be that the first few weeks we don't even need to go to the gym, we don't even need to work out and even after that time we get away with bodyweight workouts which I've had a lot of success with both myself and with clients all around the world. If you feel, if you, feel you need help in these three points, just drop me a message or email ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com and let's just book in for a revitalization course just to see where we can go from there. It may be a case I'm not the coach for you. It may be a case, like other people, I change your life pretty much instantly.